Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Bible Illustrated Hands. Um, I'm sorry for my brief absence. I was doing some soul searching and I found it. So anyway, uh, today's question comes from an, uh, a user who didn't specifically request to remain anonymous, but I'll keep him anonymous because, you know, the question might, co might cause some real life issues and I don't want to drag, uh, to drag him through that. So, uh, he asks, um, I'm considering becoming a Catholic because my views on the Eucharist have drastically changed over the past year. I'm currently a member of the Episcopal Church and I'm struggling with the idea of leaving some of my friends behind. Uh, what are your thoughts on this uh, conversion? How do you meet in community if you leave communion with the others? Uh, thank you for your question, anonymous user. Um, your question <laughs> is a difficult one. You probably know what I'm going to say because uh, it's something that you have been str struggling for some time and I can imagine that uh, you, have, uh, you have had issues with. Um, as you know probably from the Gospel, uh, the truth shall, should take precedence over, over our own personal opinions, tastes, friends, family, everything. And yes, if you uh, you feel that your friends are dragging you behind by staying in the church uh, in uh, whose teachings on the Eucharist you no longer believe, well, you should change that church. And as far as living... A, a uh, I'll just remind you of the words of Christ who said that... Uh, that... Uh, uh, he he repays hundredfold, hundredfold um, what we have lo uh, lost. If we lost our fathers, sisters, mothers, friends, there will be hundreds, hundreds of fathers, mothers, sisters, wives ahead of us, waiting for us uh, in both the age of, uh, to come and this life as well. As far as remaining... Uh, friends with the people uh, of the community uh, you have left. It is mostly an issue of uh, just how big a uh, uh, role that community played in your friendship. That is, was it the sole source of your friendship or, or was there something more? For example, let us say I, became, I become a Catholic. Uh, I probably wouldn't see a lot of my church friends because the church is the primary place where I see them, you know. Uh, however, if our friendship is a bit more deeper than that, uh, if we, you know, go to each other's places, hang out, play games, whatever, then such friendships do survive, even if, you know, we change our religions, ideologies, whatever. I think it is primary the issue with that. And after all, you will find out so soon enough that after you convert, you know, who will choose to stay friends with you, who will choose not to stay with you, or as the case would have it in a majority of cases, uh, that uh, the uh, people usually, you know, they may be disappointed, but uh, uh, in all probability, a lot of those friendships will simply wither out, you know, without anyone saying expressly, I do or do not want to hang out with this person anymore. So, you have seen uh, the truth for what it is. And there's only one thing to do. Bye.